Folks, here we are today up at Repeater Station Car Park for the best of all lookout up at Springbrook. Rob and I have come up here to have a great look at the beautiful scenery. <laughs> you can guess how well that's going to work out. But hey, it isn't all about blue skies and rainbows. We're going to have a look at this. A uh, bit of tomfoolery from Rob and I, but anyway, you know what I'm going to say. If you dig the vibe, like and subscribe. And over to you, Rob and T. What a view, man. I love it. What a view. It's a whiteout. Mate, you need imagination. Can I show you a magic word? Sure. You've got to say, super colour prejudice, XB allegations. Now I see what you mean. You know what I mean? Can't have too much of it. Well, here we are, folks. We're just starting over Mount Warning down in New South Wales, right in the core of the Tweed Volcano. You can see that green valley over there in the distance. That's the Numanbar Valley. We're not going there this morning. We're heading over here, more towards Moorlambar, which is over to our right. And we're going to head around onto the uh, Springbrook Plateau and have a look at where this lookout is, because the best of all lookout is in an amazing place. It really is. Now, you know, this metadata is not the best. It's a bit goopy, but you get the idea. This is an extremely uh, three-dimensionally challenged countryside. It's up and down. You look at it from a map, it does no way uh, indicate how damn rough this place is. There's the Numanvar Valley just over in behind there. That's where the uh, natural bridge is. We're just spinning around and straight in front of us here. You can see Mount Warning again just popping in there. And straight ahead, we're going to have a look. Now, this place is called Repeater Station Road because it goes to the microwave repeater station. And there's the repeater station down there. You saw Rob and I in the car park before a little bit. And uh, somebody lives there. Just jealous, just jealous. And the track runs off the road there. It runs right along the edge of the ridge. Crosses into New South Wales, actually. The border runs right along the top of that ridge. And you can see this is severe escarpment country. It just drops these massive, massive rhyolite cliffs here. And uh, we'll see more of them. Um, and this lookout somewhere here, roughly. I don't think that brown thing in the middle is it, but it might be. Uh, it's a rendition. We'll just pull back so you can see what's below it. There's some real, real geology here. And as you can see, we are right on the rim of the caldera of the old Tweed volcano. That's Wollumbar down there. There's the ocean. Awesome stuff. Let's have a look at the geology of this area because it is, of course, quite interesting. Hey, Cisco. My poncho. We're shooting this about two weeks after Cyclone Alfred came through. So as you can see, there's been a little bit of uh, collateral damage. And beautiful old trees here. It's a very mossy path and it's quite slippery. Oh, look at 
looking at quite a bit of geology here, folks. Uh, this uh, light tan stuff up here, where the uh, lookout is, is the Hobwe Basalt. The dark stuff on the actual cliffs is the uh, Binnabara Rhyolite. And the lighter tan stuff on the bottom is the good old Beachmont Basalt that we saw over at Natural Arch. In fact, Natural Arch is in the top corner of this image. That purple stuff on the bottom is the Narrenly Fernbell beds. These things are 400 million years old. So here's the uh, pure uh, hillshade lighter of the area. As you can see, this thing is really, really three-dimensional. Uh, I'll zoom in a little for you, because if we zoom in, there's enough resolution we can just pick out this, uh, this um, lookout. You can see the track coming down there. And the lookout is just there. So anyway, let's have a look at some more interesting shots of this area. Well, folks, there are no bad views in this part of the world. Those beautiful white rhyolite cliffs, the um, Binnabara rhyolite there, with the Hobby Vassalt sitting on top, that's the repeater station we came in through. And we walked down that ridge back towards where this image was taken from. And if you look to the uh, south, you obviously see Mount Warning, which is the old, or well, one of the old cores of the Moulin Bar volcano. It's a bit more complex than that, but it'll do for now. And uh, behind that, you can see the opposite rim of the volcano over in the background there. This is a photo taken in 1935 from uh, a place called the Dixie Lookout, which is a few hundred metres up the road from the uh, lookout we're talking about today. And uh, this is also taken from uh, the Dixie Lookout in about the 1930s. So as you can see, not much has changed, except of course, it was before they invented colour. So it was all in black and white. So what do we got? Well, here's our platform. It's a beauty of platform, very safe, great place to go. Well, I've seen pictures of Muppets sitting on the edge of this, so yeah, anything's doable. So folks, very much like over at Natural Arch, the forest here is the star of the show. And this forest has got the hiding. We're right on the edge of probably a three or four hundred metre precipice here and a cyclone's just come through so these trees have copped a bit of a hiding but there are some very old trees here there are trees here that are many hundreds of years old uh, the arctic beach which is from the gondwana days this is a real survivor and there's three of them here in a row i'll show you an image in a few minutes just absolutely amazing plus all the minutia the little tiny uh, orchids, the little the moss growing on the rocks, and all the ferns, and all the sub layers. They're just, it's an absolutely beautiful place. So, anyway, we're just making our way along the track here to get to the best of all look. It's a dumb name. I wish they could have given it any name, but anyway, I'll, I'll run with it. That's what it is. That white stuff you see is just space. Let's have a look as we get closer. Go. We are coming up on the lookout called the best of them all. And you know something, looking at the maps, looking at the geology, these massive rhyolite boulders here, they are enormous. The trees you get on, and you look at this lookout and you go, this is the best of them all. The one thing you have to look at when you come here is the weather map. You look at the geology map, you look at the climate map, and you look at the weather map, and I assure you, this is an amazing view. So folks, we have these massive basalt boulders up here, and they're just strewn around. It's just astounding how large things like this gets moved by weathering in the weather. There's also this stand of Arctic beach. This is just, there's Arctic beach all over the place, but this stand is estimated to be nearly 2,000 years old. Now these things were around when JC played fullback for Jerusalem. This is a seriously old tree, survived all the fires and everything. No, I'm not gonna make a joke. Okay, so, 
that's about as far as you'll see Rob get off road. He's not big into the bush, he isn't. I went in a bit further. We were looking at the beautiful old trees and this big pile of just big basalt boulders. They are just amazing, just sitting here. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a beautiful day. Again, the light. Look at the, the reflections of the leaves and the rocks. When it's raining, this thing, this place takes on a whole new magic. It's just fantastic. Ooh, I wonder what would happen if we used a different magic word. Uh-oh, we've gone very wrong. Very wrong. Make it go away. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, our little sojourn today. I know Rob and I did. We got a bit wet, but yeah, we're not made of sugar. We'll be fine. Had some nice fish and chips down on the Gold Coast, actually, on the way up to here. Anyway, till next time, if you dig the vibe, like and subscribe, and I'll meet it. It really helps. And, uh, well, you know what I'm going to say. Geology rocks. Keep, Keep rocking. rocking. T rocks. And, and walk about with Rob. Is out. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space!